What's up you guys, this is Optimal coming right back at you. So today we're gonna be opening one of the new hottest sets for Yu-Gi-Oh, which is Power of the Elements. And sadly at the moment, I kind of misplaced my Neos playmat, but we're definitely gonna have that playmat around when we open up two more boxes of this set. And I'm gonna be opening it up with, an, with my auxiliary member and we're gonna have a little box battle. So be looking forward to that. So let's just get right into this, and oh gosh, I am so hyped for this set. Let's see if we can actually pull the cover card. So I know people are really looking for the splites and the tier elements. I'm more of the tier elements side of things, because, oh, of course, you gotta root for the waifu. But I am a sucker for nostalgia, so let's see if we can pull any of the hero cards. First off, we have a maze, attraction, uh, throw train. Life Extreme. Oh, and by the way, um, most of the cards that are coming in the Earth Power Earth um, Legendary Duo set have actually been imported into this set, like the Life, the Power Tool cards, and the what's it called? The Shizu cards are going to be in our Winter set for Marvelous Mavis, I believe. So yeah, it looks like unfortunately we're not getting that Earth Power element to the Duelist. And for the Super, we have Awakening of the Forest. And here we go, starting off really nicely with that Sprite Carrot. We have Terramint's Meta Noise and Melfi Wally. Aww, just uh, the Melfi archetype is just so adorable. And a Splite Red. So I believe in this set you get two secret rares and maybe four ultras. Let's see. We have a Cross Keeper, one of the new hero support cards. We're going to put that out to the side because we are definitely bare. We definitely are going to be building heroes this um, this format. So we have the most distant, deepest depths. A maze attraction. Punk Jam Extreme Session. Let's rock it out, you guys. So we have Tier Elements Merly. We have Melfi Penny. And Tears of Overroot. Oh, I was really hoping Tears of Overroot was going to become a staple card. And shake up the format. But it doesn't look like it's going to do that. Despite it having one of the Ghost Girls on it. So we have Morphtronic Earphones, or sorry, we just call it Morphtronic AirPods, honestly. So we have Morphtronic Scanner, looks more like a PC to me. We have Changing Seasons, Branded Explosion, and I believe in the OCG, this was Branded Exodus. So yeah, they censored it for us. Oh, and here's one of the new Exorcister cards, Exorcister's Returnia. We got Night Nightmel, the Dark Bonder. And over fusion, just look at how nice and beautiful the artwork is on that card. Another good hero card. We have Brilliant Rose, Double Dust Tornado, which is a combination of Dust Tornado, and I believe Twin Cyclone. Let's see, on to the next pack. So we have Splite Smashers, Dig Digit Jamming, AirPods, <laughs> um, Exodus. Oh, and our first Ultra Rare, Therion Irregular. Sadly, not one of the good Ultras to pull in this set. But we'll take it. We got the man, the myth, the legend himself, Moki Moki Adrift. Branded in Central Dogmatica. Just, oh, the artwork on this is so beautiful. Like, the dark, the Dogmatica archetype, just, just gorgeous. We have Pit Knight Errol, Double Dust Tornado Twins. Okay. So now we have Revenous Vendred, the Sushi Ships, <laughs> really punny. So that we got Hyderlander Orbit and Punk Jam Dragon Drive. So tell me what you got, what cards you guys are mainly looking forward to this. And oh, it looks like we got one of the new goatee cards. It's actually pronounced fish, but I forgot the reason behind it. But um, the my auxiliary member, which is basically Chrysidion, he's really looking into building the fish archetype. So that's a nice card that I'm going to be giving him. So yeah, like I was saying, what cards are you guys looking forward to? Splites, tier elements, heroes, or are you looking to build the uh, goatees? Just comment in the section, co comment in the comment section below, and tell me what you guys are looking forward to. Let's see, we got orbits, we got floundering fields, Mathmex circular, we got dark bounder, sprite carrot, and meta noise.
Looks like we only have about maybe five more packs on the right side. Still no secret. Let's see. We got Mary Melfi's, such an adorable archetype with really great artwork. An ultimate slayer for our secret. That's, a, oh gosh. Okay, that's that's one of the better secrets to pull in this set. Oh, just, oh, uh, isn't it a, isn't a Sprite Blue, but we'll take it. Let's see. Um, I forgot what this card does. Let's see. So your opponent cannot activate monster's effects in response to this card's activation. Okay, that's good. Your opponent can't respond to it. You send one monster from your extra deck to the graveyard, then target one monster your opponent controls with the same card type, Fusion, Synchro, Xyz, Pendel, Mortal Link, and shuffle into the deck. Uh, not as good. I wish you could negate and probably shuffle back anything, but it's a pretty good card. Let's see. Now we have um, Mortronics Telephone, Vendred, AirPods, and then, ooh, another goatee card for on right there. It looks like we have a goatee pack here. So we have Tier Elements Cry Me, another goatee. This is um, Econ Century of the Fish. Honestly, I don't like calling it fish. I feel like goatee sounds way cooler. Okay. So it looks like on the right side, that's all we're going to be getting for our Ultras and Supers. Or I think we might have one more ultra left. Let's see. So we have um Cross Keeper, Scar of the Vendred, and Scatter Fusion. Their new fusion spell card for the Gemini Geminites, I believe. Melfi Penny, Tears of Overroot, and just the artwork on that is so nice. Wish it was um better. Let's see. And okay. On to the third pack of the right side. Ooh, you gotta be a gamer to pull this card. Sadly, I don't consider playing on the- Oh, Gigantic Splite! Okay, oh gosh, that is a really great ultra to pull right there. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, ah, that just- Oh god, that just made my day right there. And, okay, just to finish up what I was saying earlier, um, I feel like to be a gamer- PC isn't the way to go. I'm still a guy like you got to play on console like Nintendo Switch or PlayStation 4. Not a big Xbox guy, but I don't know. It's just I find it hard to type on a keyboard while playing video games. I know you can use a controller, but it's just not the same feeling, you guys. So tell, just tell me in the comment sections, are you, do you like playing on the PC or do you prefer playing on an actual console? I know my editor is probably going to kill me for that because he's a big PC guy. Yeah, but like I, I play PC too. I like playing Genshin Impact on the PC. It's a lot of fun. I still haven't gotten past the Devalon fight, and my friend keeps nagging me about it, saying, "Hey, you should you should go ahead and do that." I don't know. I, I'm just having a hard time getting on Genshin, but I did whale for the Raiden Shogun. So yeah, <laughs> not sure what that says about me. So we have um Scar Scareclaw Straddle, and I think that's our last pack for the right side of the box. And on to the left side. So it's nice that the secret rares and the ultras are actually well placed out in this. Because I know for some some of the Power of the Elements, the secrets were always on top, which was kind of sad. So glad to see that's actually mixed up. And we got an EN Shuffle. Okay, we just need to pull two more of those for our hero deck. So okay, let's see if we can pull, if we can get that done today. If not, we still have two more boxes to open up for this channel. So, we still have some time. We still have some time. Okay, on to the next pack. We got another Cross Keeper. Which, good. I think that completes our play set of that. Digit Jamming and one of the new Gemini um, Fusion Monsters. Gemini Lady Rose Diamond. We got Melfi Penny. We got Central Dogmatica and Splite Red. So I think so far this is a pretty decent box. Nothing too crazy yet, except for that Ultimate Slayer and Gigantic Sprite. We got Life Extreme. Oh, it's a little bit of damaging on top of the card. Do you see that? Yeah. Okay. It's got Morphtronic Scanner. Two Ship. The most distant, deepest depths. Gemini Quartz. Uh, Ekon, the Century of Fish. Brilliant Rose. Fish Chain. Tier Elements. 
Oh gosh, I just want to call it sulking. Tier Elements sulking. Okay. We got Spike Gamma Burst, the most decent deepest steps, Sprite Smashers, Orbit, and Garnier Wings of Resonant Life. Okay. Tier Elements sulking, Tier Elements Mortronic Converter. Okay, Branded Expulsion, Digit Jamming, Life Extreme, e EN Engaged Neo Space. Okay, that's our first copy of that. It looks like we just need two more of this card, and then it looks like we might be set. All we're just missing right now is just the cover card of the set. I think we only need to run like maybe one of the Elements of Hero, I think it's Shining Flare Neos, if I'm remembering correctly. I'm not too sure. Feel free to correct me in the comments section below. Let's see. And we got Kikon Rika Konkon for our super. Splite Pixies, Fish Chain, and Brilliant Rose. Okay. Sprite Glamour Burst, uh, Scanner, Changing Seasons, and Draco Utopia Aura for our secret rare. Oh gosh, the artwork on that is so nice. Not one of the good secrets to pull in the set, but I guess it's a decent pull. It's I might see some play in the Utopia deck with 99 Utopia Dragner. Not too sure on that, but eh, I'll take it. I'll take it. So it looks like uh, that's it for all the secrets we're going to be pulling. And I think we're only expecting maybe like maybe one or two ultra Ultras left. Okay, we're down to the last five packs of the set. So we have Crawler Soma, Mel Mary Melfi's, Tyramans Havis, um, let's see, Vanguard, Under Underground Emperor, and e Elemental Hero Spirit Neos. And if you guys watched one of our shorts, we did pull one Elemental Hero Spirit Neos. We just need, I think, one more copy, and we're all set on that guy. So come on, can we get the cover card of the set? Okay. Let's see, come on. We got Ice Jade Creation, Mary Melfi's, Chromosoma, um, and the flowers that bloom, and Melfi staring contest. Such uh, such an adorable archetype. Just look at that little cute thing staring right into your soul. Just uh, absolutely adorable. Spite Red, and Sulking. Yes, I'm gonna keep calling it Sulking because just think of a waifu sulking in the background. Spite Smashers, Most Distant Deepest Deaths, Gamer, Moray of Avarice for our Ultra. Sprite Carrot, Rika Princess, Tears of Overroot, and then Cry Me. Cry Me a River, please. Because it looks like we're down to our last two packs and I see no sign of the cover card. So we got Gadget Gamer, Scar of the Vendred, Cross Keeper, Underground Emperor, Grand Tusk Dragon, Tier Elements Murray, Morphtronic Converter, Nemesis Elephant, and Sprite Pixies. And now we're down to our last pack of Destiny. Come on, Jaden Yuki. Get, please give me your cover card. Let's see, we got Digit Jamming, Morphtronic Telephone, Scar of the Vendred, Mary Melfi's, and Scar Scareclaw Strato. So sadly, no cover card. And I think overall, this was a decent box. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this opening. And I, we do, we are gonna be putting up a video later of having a box battle of Power of the Elements between me and Chrysidion. So hopefully you guys look forward to that and hopefully we can pull even more epic cards for you guys. And I'll catch you guys later.